talked a lot about probiotics. What are prebiotics? Can you explain those? And, and I think a lot of people can confuse the two. Yeah, that's a great question. And that's related to the other question that you just asked is what can you do to make the gut, food-wise, to make the gut work better? So prebiotics are, are foods that you eat that let the probiotics thrive. Okay. So you eat something, and in the process of eating it, it gets digested, it ends up in your intestinal tract, and the probiotics love it. The pathogenic bacteria hate it. Mm -hmm. And so essentially you're increasing the probiotic concentration in your bowel by simply eating certain foods. So examples would be, and they're often polysaccharide type compounds. So oligopolysaccharides are one example. Um, you can buy these powders now in supplements. Um, certain foods, like Jerusalem artichoke is the, a lot of us don't eat artichoke, but, that, yeah. <laughs> but it, it is one that seems to be high in that. Um, it's a very easy list to find on the internet if you Google yeah. prebiotics, um, and I send patients to, to look for it regularly. So certain foods can help increase the healthy bacteria concentration. Now, I've heard fermented foods are in that category. Is that true or not? Do you subscribe to that? <laughs> Absolutely. So um, in trying to figure out how to make our gut work better, I often look to other cultures. So other cultures have more bitters. Mm -hmm. Other cultures have lower glycemic index carbohydrates, so less inflammation. Their gut works better. Um, other cultures have you know, a better fat profile in what they mm -hmm. eat. And uh, other cultures also historically have fermented foods as part of their daily intake. Mm. So it could be certain cheeses that still have live bacteria in them. It could be, and I don't just say this because it's my last name, but kefirs or kefirs, mm -hmm. which are fermented, you know, drinkable milks, um, or yogurts, or kombucha, um, sauerkrauts. These are all foods that still have bacteria in them in low amounts, but they're healthy bacteria like lactobacillus and bifidobacteria, just what we need. So those are fermented foods. Some of those fermented foods also have along with them the polysaccharides that, that equate to a prebiotic. And so they're both. They're a pre and a pro. Some are just probiotics because they have those healthy bacteria in them.